Hey, what's up guys, Sir Eminon here, and welcome to another video. So this is going to be day one of Master Duel testing. I don't know what I'm going to call this series yet, uh, that has yet to be, de be determined, but uh, obviously everyone's super excited for this, uh, it's been long anticipated. But here we are, Master Duel is officially out, and we're going to go ahead and try and hop into some games on Rated here. Uh, this, what you're looking at right now, is a free-to-play Lunalite deck. Um, that I actually crafted entirely just out of gems, as well as the uh, crafting system that exists, which is really, really efficient for getting the targeted cards that you want specifically. Um, that in tandem with the secret packs makes uh, building archetypes extremely, extremely uh, easy and efficient to do. Um, and as you can see, we have Lunalite Tiger legal at three copies, um, alongside stuff like Maxi. So the ban list right now is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a kind of conglomeration of the OCG and TCG ban lists, but it's more aired towards the OCG side of things. Uh, to where a lot of the OCG uh, cards um, that are at specific uh, spots on the ban list are at those spots. Um, so you can think of things like obviously Max C at 3, and then random cards at 1 like Bandy's Emptiness, which is a little scary. But yeah, this is the deck that we're going to be bringing. Uh, I didn't spend a whole ton of time uh, like really trying to chase down the like you know odds and ends of this, but we're going to see how far we can get uh, with just a free-to-play build. And I honestly, for what it's worth, I think this is pretty solid. So. Let's run through the cards. Uh, there's no way for me to manually sort this, which is unfortunate, so I guess we'll just go through the cards from just in order here. So we have two max C. There should be three, but I don't have enough to actually craft a third one just yet, and I don't want to wait because uh, I've been playing for quite a while on stream right now. Also, we're live on Twitch in case you couldn't tell. Uh, follow me on Twitch because I'm going to be streaming this uh, game very, very often. Uh, so if you want to catch these live, uh, that is definitely going to be the place to do so because I will be streaming uh, often and for quite a extensive period of time. But yeah, Maxi obviously is very, very crazy. Uh, gonna need a third one of this ASAP. Uh, and then we have one copy of White Rabbit. So right now, the format is a best of one series without siding, as you can tell. So I figured that having back removal is really important because you're gonna run into a lot of like decks that just try and cheese wins via floodgates and stuff. So having an in-engine way to remove cards or back row is really good. Because if you guys aren't familiar, uh, White Rabbit is a card that allows you to, on normal summon, reborn a Lunalite, and then you can target spells and traps your opponent controls up to the number of other Lunalite cards you control and bounce them to the hand, which includes your Pendulum Scales. So this card can bounce easily two to three cards um, and just go for game, which is really solid. Uh, so that's why I want to play in the list here. Uh, we have a copy of Black Sheep. Uh, this is here, which is Surgeable off Tenki, and this can get you into your Wolf later on uh, if you don't have access to it immediately via something like a Perfume. Uh, this way you can go for the uh, Panther Leo OTK, which is my primary mechanism of OTKing currently at the moment. Right now, uh, we are playing three copies of the Lunalite Tiger. This card is crazy that's back at three. Uh, but here we are, and I'm so excited to try this out, uh, see how it goes. Um, three Ash Blossom, pretty like catch-all. I think catch-all cards that are generic are really important, uh, especially ones that are both good going first and going second. Again, because be a one format, uh, you really want to make sure that you can uh, be able to have a lot of flexibility and adaptability there. Uh, one copy of Zephyrus. I hunted for this card. I didn't end up pulling it, so I just drafted it instead. Oh uh, yeah, this is good. Obviously, the Bounce Tiger and stuff. Good with like the Force Tricks, stuff like that. Uh, one copy of Blue Cat. Uh, so this is maybe a weird inclusion, but I want to have this in here just to make my Leo Dancer OTKs a bit more consistent. Um, you know, obviously, Underclock Leo Dancer is a good combo, but just in case that doesn't fire, um, I want to have this as an option to maybe summon off like Serenade Dance or off of like. Uh, you know, Perfume, or even a Pendulum Summon, which now can come up because we have Pendulum Skills, which is hype. Uh, we have three Collider Chick, very standard, one Emerald Bird, uh, two Yellow Martin, and then one copy of Raider's Wing. This is another option off of the Four Strix. I just want to have a bit more variety, and plus this uh, facilitates more extension because it is a recurrable level 4 body uh, that you can get as long as you use it as Xyz material, uh, which we have a couple of here. Um, the Xyz are going to be the hardest to uh, kind of chase after, but we'll be doing that in the upcoming uh, days and weeks here. Uh, one copy of Wolf, uh, this is just here to be able to go or push for game. Uh, one Reborn, which uh, we got very early on from the uh, like the uh, solo mode, which is pretty good. Uh, three Perfume, uh, three Foolish Burial Goods, uh, awesome that we have all these consistency tools. Uh, one Lunite Fusion, I wanted to make uh, Yellow Martin a little bit uh, you know, better in terms of utility for searching. So this card allows you to go into you know, stuff like Cat Dancer if you just have no setup and you want to you know, put more things in Grave. Or you can go for like your bigger fusions if you want, which is pretty good. Uh, three copies of Tenki. Uh, this card is at three, as long as Tiger, so uh, that is very, very hype. Lots of consistency here. Uh, two Book of Moon, three Forbidden Chalice, just uh, very low rarity uh, staples, because I don't want to commit too much into the high rarity stuff just yet. Um, that being said, you know, 
the ultra rares, there's a lot of them that I'm chasing for, and I clearly did not allocate my resources maybe the most wise. Uh, but, you know, we still got there. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, people are saying that Eldritch is going to be a prevalent deck because of how easy it is to uh, purchase and access. Um, so I want to have, uh, you know, kind of concessions for that. And a copy of Serenade Dance, obviously, for the uh, Yellow Martin and just general extension. Uh, extra deck is going to be one copy of Cat Dancer. I'm not really trying to make this that often, apart from maybe like the Fusion or Lunalite Fusion. But this is here so I can get into Panther Dancer, which is situationally better to make than Leo Dancer. Um, just if your opponent has like lots or a board of like a lot of small monsters and you can't like access blue cap, uh, this can facilitate OTKs pretty nicely. Uh, one Saber Dancer, just in case, like its graveyard effect is nice to just pump your fusions. Um, but also it's just like a big, you know, sort of untargetable monster, which is nice. Uh, Leo Dancer, the big boss monster. Uh, we have two Evil Swarm Nightmare, uh, so this is like the most easy to access rank 4 that's defensive in this deck. Um, again, you know, a lot of the good uh, extra deck monsters that we want to make here are ultra rare, so it's pretty hard to get uh, free to play without like grinding a ton, and again, uh, I could grind more, but I just want to hop into ranked if I'm being honest here, um, so that's that. We have a copy of Forest Strix to be able to search either our Zephyrus or our Raiders Wing. Uh, we have Braguska, another good defensive option. Uh, Underclock. Classic OTK with Leo Dancer. Uh, we have a copy of Nightmare Phoenix, more back room removal, uh, Do It All, back removal, and also Pops Tiger, which is great because it's more extension. Uh, we have IP Masquerina, which we actually packed, so pretty stoked about that one. Uh, helps to go into Nightmare Unicorn. And then a copy of Brute Enforcer, which is a card that actually we don't have in the TCG just yet, but this card allows you to discard a card and then target a face of card your opponent controls. Your opponent can negate this uh, if they discard a card of the same type. Uh, as a phase of card that this is trying to uh, pop, but otherwise you destroy that uh, card. So it's cool removal. Uh, maybe it's not as good as like Nightmare Cerberus, but I pulled this one, I just want to see how it works. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop into some rated matches. Okay, and we are in our very first match up against Awakening with a Q. Alright, we lost a die roll as a standard, of course we're going to lose the die roll. Uh, let's see, is your plan going uh, free to play Luna, then slowly build Luna from the same pack? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really have like concrete plans just yet, but I'm honestly just playing and I'm just gonna document my experience with playing the game. Alright, so are we going first or are they going first? Um, they let us go first. Wild. I. Okay. Um, I mean, this hand's good. Question is, what do we do with it? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate Foolish Burial Goods. I want to see. I want to check for Ash. Okay, they don't have it, so we're gonna send to the grave a copy of the Lunalite Perfume. Um, yeah, we'll send Perfume here, and then we're gonna activate the effect of Perfume in Grave, and then we're going to. Discard the Martin. And then we're gonna go ahead and search for a copy of Good Old Tiger. There she is. Alright. We're gonna normal summon Collider Chick. And then we're gonna activate her effect. We already have Martin Engraved, so we can actually just set up for a fusion place next turn. Um now we don't have Tiger King, which is unfortunate because Tiger King is what allows us to go like set Tanky from deck and then Tanky add Black Sheep and then add Wolf. Um, so that's like how we would normally want to do this, but this is still fine. Uh, I think we just want to set up something pretty simple here. Oh, we actually have a lot of time. Uh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to send a copy of Panther Dancer right here. And then we're going to scale up a copy of Luna White Tiger. This is the first time I've activated Tiger in a legitimate match in almost two years. Dang, this is so cool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bring back Yellow Martin right here. And then we are going to go and Link Summon into the IP Mascarena. Right over here. And if this gets attacked over, that's fine. Like, not a huge deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now activate the Yellow Martin in Graveyard. Uh, we're going to bounce Tiger to our hand. We're going to summon it to the field. And then we're going to scale Tiger again. Then we're going to activate the Tiger. We're going to bring back the Kaleido Chick. And then here we can just kind of send whatever we want. Um, 
here I think we send Wolf, just so that like, if we get access to, if we draw into a Tanky or a Perfume, um, or a Goods, we can get access to Black Sheep, which gets us Wolf back. Um, so yeah, I like that setup. And now we're gonna overlay these two into, we can go Nightmare or Baguska. I think Baguska kind of works better with Mascarena here. So I'm just gonna go into Plan B Pass. Let's just see how this works. I'm going Plan B Pass in our first game. <laughs> All right. So we have Mascarena, Baguska, Ash, uh, which is not bad. And we're gonna pass play to our opponent we shall see. Alright, let's see what our opponent has for us. I'm very, very interested to see what they got. They're gonna draw for turn. Standby, main phase. Alright. What do we got here? They're going to normal summon Tosuke Knight. Okay, I feel like this is from one of the structure decks, or starter decks, right? Um, I could be wrong here. But yeah. Also, I don't have sleeves yet, or like a customized map. Uh, don't flame me in the comments for this. Uh, I'll work on cosmetics in just a bit, but I was so focused on just trying to like get the cards that I wanted. Okay, opponent's going to set a card. And they are going to be thinking here. They're going to activate Half Shut. Target one face of monster in the field. It cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Okay, so our opponent is new to the game, I think. Um, but it's alright. I mean, we are <laughs> we're a rookie rank 2 after all. Alright, uh, do I want to Mascarena into Unicorn? I mean, I don't see... Point. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and uh, pass here or er, pass the priority. Okay, they went into battle phase. Okay. All right, we're gonna draw for turn here. We draw cosmic cycle. Well, that's not bad. Um, so standby phase. We are gonna have to detach off the goose go. So we're gonna detach our copy of the. Uh, we'll detach. I don't know. We guys should do a cool play here. Uh, we're gonna detach the yellow Martin. Okay, we're gonna go to main phase. Uh, we are gonna activate this cosmic cyclone. We're gonna target our opponent's back row. See what that is. See if they have a response to this. They're gonna chain Kunai with Chain! Alright, fair enough. Alright, so they're going to equip to their Tasuke Knight to gain 500 attack, alright. And that'll be that, alright. Cool. So, we are going to go ahead and... This feels kind of like bullying, but uh, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna go for a Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, I'm not gonna even spin. Uh, this is literally the Synchro starter deck that you can pick at the beginning of the game. Is it actually? Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Alright. So, we are gonna go ahead and activate the effect of Tiger. Alright, so this is a cool play. So we're gonna bring back our copy of Wolf. And, uh, we're gonna go now activate our, uh, Martin. And we're not going to bounce our tiger, we're going to bounce our wolf instead. And then, what's our graveyard? Uh, right, we have three Lunoids here. So we're going to go ahead, we're not going to normal summon it, we're going to pen scale this. We're going to go ahead and activate the effect. We're going to summon Leo Dancer. By banishing all of our monsters. We're gonna go ahead and summon out the Leo Dancer right here, fusing away our Panther, our Kaleido Chick, and our Yellow Martin into our Leo Dancer. We're gonna activate the effect of Kaleido Chick to lock out the battle phase. 
And then we're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon this blue cat out of our hand. We're using all the summoning mechanics here. We Exceeds, we Linked, and we Fusion. We're just missing Synchro. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and blue cat to boost our Leo Dancer right here. And then we are just going to go to the battle phase. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack over the knight. And then we're going to attack with Leo Dancer, and then we're going to attack with Leo Dancer again. Oh, I guess I also forgot Ritual. But that is the game. And our first victory in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is in the books. Our opponent is going to make us go first, which seems to be a recurring trend. Here we go, though. We either have a real player or a role player. True. Oh my god, we just straight up- We opened Chick Tiger Maxi! This is just crazy, what? We actually opened Chick Tiger Maxi, hello? Alright, we're gonna normal summon Chick. Going second is really useful. I mean, it's just regular TCG. I mean, it depends on what deck you're playing. What's the max rank? Good question. I don't know. Because uh, you're guaranteed it like 90% of the time. I guess that's fair. Yeah, but I mean, most of these decks your people right now are not piloting uh, like specific go second strategies, I feel. But you never know. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe this is the game that uh, I get proven extremely wrong. Um, okay, I don't want to... Actually, there's, there's a couple lines I can take here. Uh, I'll go for this. Yeah, this makes the most sense here. This gives me more follow-up, what I'm about to do, and it also gives me, uh, like, still a really good end board here. Alright, we're gonna go for Mascarena, we're gonna Foolish Goods to send Perfume. Then we're gonna go ahead and I don't know why I did it in that order. That right, my ordering is don't don't pay attention to the way I'm doing things, guys. The, the order I'm doing this doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm just revealing more info like preemptively when I don't have to. All right. Yo, actually, Pendulum Moonlight is a thing again. True, yeah, because Electromite's unbanned. Um, so yeah, I might mess around with that eventually. Oh gosh, I missed the Pendulum Moonlight deck. It was so fun. Um, alright, we're gonna do this. We're not gonna fix, er, forget Collider Chick again this time for whatever reason that I forgot last time. And we're gonna send a copy of Panther. Right. And now we're gonna overlay into four Strix. And then we're gonna go ahead and four Strix effect. We're gonna detach. And then we're gonna search ourselves a copy of uh, Zephy Rose. Platinum one seems like the highest rank. Really? All right. Oh, I thought it would be King of Games, kind of similar to uh, to Duel Links. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate Perfume. We're gonna pitch this. We're gonna grab Wolf just so we have the OTK set up nice and easy next turn. Ranking system shows diamond. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, platinum seems a little bit low. Uh, and then we are gonna expend our Zephyrus. It is a little early, but I mean, we'll get a good end board here. So I don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> we'll take 400 and then we'll activate the effect. So even with like a really basic bare bones Luna White build, I think this is actually just the way to go, right? Like, if Luna White Tiger were unbanned, I feel like this is just the list that I would make. I would not make anything super crazy. Uh, like Y Strix combo, I don't even think that's like that good. Like, why not we? Why don't we just do this kind of thing? Where we just go link to bunch of rank fours, bunch of defensive cards. Like, obviously we play like another hand trap or something instead of Book of Moon, ideally. But like, this seems like just fine, right? And 
and then we're gonna put this in the fence. And I'm gonna hold the wolf. For obvious reasons. Uh, and then we're gonna set. And we're gonna pass. So we have Baguska plus three interruptions. Or two hard interruptions and like a maxi. So like we have two floodgates, two interruptions essentially. So that's pretty good. Let's see what we got. I just saw the color of assumed diamond, but yeah, it's flat. Really? Huh. That's really low. All things considered. Again, like, this is kind of... This is day one, so... Konami's bound to do more. Spiral Flame Strike! Our opponent's playing Odd Eyes! Yo! Alright, our opponent's playing a real deck! Hopefully. <laughs> Platinum is rarer on Earth than Diamond. That is true, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, they're gonna search for a copy of Phantom Dragon, I think that was. Alright. Uh, Bandon, Flexion96, uh, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome to the Penguin Parade. I hope you enjoy. Uh, shouts to Penguin on stream, by the way. Alright. Game 2 of Ranked, against, and you're against Salad, really? <laughs> Man, how come I can't play those decks? How come you... <laughs> Give me your opponents. I want to play against those decks. I can't farm content when I'm playing against, like, meme decks. <laughs> this isn't fair. I want to play against, like, you know... You know, decks that are, like, at least around this tier. Okay, so they're going for an Arc Pendulum. Do I just max C and like deter my opponent here? I mean, they like if they pass, I'm fine with that because I just OTK them. So I'm just gonna max C here. Cause like realistically, what are they gonna do about it? But they have to play into it. If they don't play into it, they lose. All right, so maybe I should have started or waited for them to Iris, but I guess it's fine. They're gonna do this anyways. Um, hey, Aerosol, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Well, uh, welcome to the Penguin Parade. Alright, so let's see. They're gonna pop their, uh, what is it, the Phantom Dragon? And then they're gonna go ahead and get a search, and that triggers the arc. Again, they do have to play into my Max C. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, trigger the arc, that's fine. I can't target their scales with Masquerina, so I'm not obviously not gonna bother. I'm just gonna like spin the threat. If there is one. Alright, drawing good. It's not a good draw. So they're gonna attempt to activate Persona Dragon, but it is negated. Sure. Yeah, like, they're gonna have to hard commit to this max C. They're gonna give me at least a plus one. Bandon Flexer, thanks for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Penguin Posse. Uh, I gotta bring out more penguins now. Um, here we go. More penguins. Alright, uh, they're gonna scale their other copy of Phantom Dragon. And... let's see. What are they gonna do here? So they are gonna pen summon here. And they're going to summon this copy of the uh, Phantom Dragon. I draw a copy of Serenade. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, if they don't clear their board, we are OTK next turn. Okay, they are going to go and set two back row. What back row did they play in this deck? Honestly, I'm not even going to Masquerade into this. Um, Pella says, by the way, chat, make sure you spectate one duel a day by watching someone else play. Do not forget. True. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and draw for turn. Copy a collider check. We have so many engine cards in our hand right now. Um, but that's not a bad thing. Standby phase, we detach off the Baguska. The Gooskers. It does only give five, but I mean, it does add up. Like, after a month, that's like 
a pack and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really not that much, huh? Okay, so we're gonna switch this to attack position. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that, because I forgot that they still have Persona. That's fine, though. We'll see if they negate this. I actually don't need this to resolve, so if they burn their Persona on this, I'm fine with it. Yeah, they are going to negate that. I'm totally fine with that. That is A-OK -okay with me. Uh, I could chain Book of Moon if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Like, I could Book of Moon my own, uh, because this... not uh, target trait. Whatever. Um, this game desperately needs a fast mode. Uh, it could use it, I think, yeah. Alright, we're going to go ahead and Nightmare Unicorn here. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go for the back row here. Just because I don't know what his back row is, or what their back row is. And like, it could be anything, so... You never know, people play weird stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna activate the effects. Then we're gonna pitch a copy of Serenade Dance. And then we're gonna shuffle this back into the deck. Alright, no response. Okay, now we're gonna go Tiger. Bring this back. I had Super Soldier, Man Summon, Helio, and Surrender. <laughs> well, that is, uh, that's faded. Uh, I basically have the Tenyu Core together. Do I go Ancient Warriors next to Utopia? Utopia! Utopia is so cool. Please go Utopia. That deck is sick. Alright. Um, we're gonna go Nightmare Phoenix now. Right, we're gonna Phoenix pitch burial goods to get rid of the other back row. I really don't know what this set could be. I'm extremely curious. It is a Pendulum Reborn. Alright. We're gonna pen scale. Uh, what do I have in my graveyard? I have Panther Dancer and two Martins. Yeah, we're good. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Uh, activate the effect of Wolf. We're gonna go for this. We're gonna banish all of these. I'm gonna go get food. I'll check back later if you're still around. Alright, bet. Uh, I'll be alive for a little bit more. But uh, I probably am actually going to take a nap because <laughs> I did not sleep enough. I'm now finding out I did not sleep enough. All right, we're going to do this. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do this. Because we can. Uh, we're gonna pitch the Collider Chick and we're gonna summon a copy of Blue Cat. Blue Cat just makes like doing the math like a lot easier because they don't have to think about it. Uh, Vandaflexer says, I want to play so bad but I might work for another five hours. Oh, I feel your pain, man. Um, yeah, but it, it really is, it really did live up to the hype. Like, it is so, so good. Yeah, the only complaint I have is BO1 format, but. That is the only complaint I have, actually. That's the only complaint. Everything else is great. Even like the ban list. I'm fine with the ban list, honestly. Just because I get to play Tiger. So I'm literally okay with the ban list. And with that, we won. I think this is bronze too. All right. My opponent has won the die roll. Not the greatest start. Oh, but they're making us go first. Uh, once again. Alrighty. Ooh, this hand is not the cleanest, but it's decent. I think I'm gonna start going for Evil Swarm Nightmare over, um, over Babuska. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to send Serenade Dance here, actually. I'm gonna serenade to pitch this spare copy of goods. And we're gonna summon out a copy of chick. And we're gonna collide with chick effect. Send this. And then we're going to go and activate the effect of perfume. Uh, we can now overlay into four Strix. Put in defense. Effect activation, let's go ahead and detach this. Now let's search for a Zephyros. And we can go ahead and activate Perfume and Grave. And we can pitch the Zephyros. And we can search ourselves the one, the only Tiger. And then we're going to time to pend it up. And then we're going to pend scale. Here, uh, I can hold the Zephyros, which is fine. We can go ahead and send ourselves a copy of Panther. That would go for this. Then we'll go for uh, Martin here. I almost summoned the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm masquerading in this zone this time. Uh, let's see. Uh, so with the whole timer on the secret packs, do you get to re or unlock them after a day, or is it just a one time only thing? That's a good question. I actually have no idea. Point to make Chaos Max based. <laughs> That is indeed pretty based. I'm gonna activate to send the wolf. And we're gonna overlay into Nightmare this time. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if this is better than Baguska. Because I've been ending on Baguska every game instead of this. I want to switch it up and see if this is better. Because, like, Baguska kind of protects Masquerina a bit better. Oh. Alright, we're getting Regeki no matter what. Um, We're going to Masquerina here just so it doesn't. Whatever I made doesn't get destroyed here. But that is upsetting. Uh, we might need the Unicorn later, honestly. But, I mean, it is the biggest thing we have here. Dang, I'm probably just right Geki this, bro. Uh, yeah, let's just go for the Unicorn, I suppose. Yeah, at least this way it can't be destroyed by card effects. And it kind of blinks the Regeki. I kind of made the Regeki one for one instead of one for two. They're gonna Lightning Storm. Okay. Chill. Chill, my friend. Chill. <laughs> um, we're gonna bring back the, the Yellow Martin. So Lightning Storm Regeki. I see why they wanted to go second. Uh, 
Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> That's kind of bad for us. Uh, do you think I should build a deck that I maybe want to play IRL? I was thinking of playing Braid of Prank Kids. Uh, that's not a bad choice. Uh oh. They're playing. actually playing Cyber Dragons. And this is rough. This could be very bad for us. Uh, I'm gonna Ash this. Alright, this might this might be your first loss right here. Of course they have machine dupe. I knew it. I'm like, every time I ash this card, I get hit with Machine Dupe. Oh, gosh. Lightning Storm, Regeki, Machine Dupe. Rough, rough, rough. Oh, and they have Desires as well. Jeez. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Oh, it's so bad. Are you gonna wave Nova? Yeah, we lose this game for sure. Like, there's zero percent chance we win. Dang, <laughs> that's so sad. It didn't matter what we made. Yeah, we had no negates. Yeah, they're gonna Mega Fleet us, and then they're gonna go into another Cyber Dragon. Yeah, this game's over. <coughs> Brilliant Fusion is illegal, it's that one. Yeah, now they can make Infinity, and we just... We can't out Infinity. <laughs> Straight up just can't do it. Oh, we're not dead here yet, but we might as well be. <clears throat> Alright, the only way we win is if we, uh, I don't know, we have to draw something crazy off the top. And Ash Blossom is not what we needed. Yay, ay, ay, ay. Um, Alright, we're gonna summon White Rabbit. We're gonna bring back Kaleido Chick. If they negate this, we lose. Even if they don't negate this, we probably still lose. But yeah, we lose. Yep, good game. Well, and that is our first loss. Dang, we got we lost to Regeki Lightning Storm into Core Machine Dupe Desires. Uh, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Alright, so we're back with the deck after a couple of matches of testing. We ended up finishing uh, Silver 5. Uh, we went 8 and 1, or 7 and 1 in matches. Uh, the deck is not bad for sure. It's a pretty good core shell. I think what the deck is fundamentally missing, however, is the ability to flex into powerful extra deck tools. Mostly stuff like Redoer or just like board breakers in general. Uh, powerful end bosses like with negation also would be very helpful because uh, we don't really have any of that at the current moment. And um, just ways to be able to like improve upon obviously the defensive lineup uh, just for like non-engine cards would be uh, pretty appreciated as well. But yeah, overall the deck has performed decently so far. Obviously like a lot of our opponents have not had a lot of experience yet with Master Duel. So uh, the score is kind of skewed. It's not really the most uh, accurate of like the deck's you know true strength. Um, but that being said, I still think the deck is pretty good. Uh, I will continue to make improvements for the next episode, um, and I look forward to seeing what the future holds. You can already see our currency changed quite a lot, so we have a lot of crafting tools to work with. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, thanks guys for watching this inaugural episode. Again, I don't know what the name of the series is going to be. I'll find out or I'll figure out by the time you guys watch this video. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching and until next time I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys!